Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial where we will show you an, one example in C programming of the nested if else statements, how the things are actually working over here. I have written the program, uh, you can write by your own, but I already have written this program to save the time and I am not going to you know discuss this comment stdio.h and main part. So I'll start from uh, this over here. So before you know starting, let me uh, just discuss a little bit about this program, what, what we are doing here. So we will be asking the user to enter a number. So if the enter is less than the value 10, then we will print that you have entered less than 10. And if the value is exactly 10, then we will print the value that your value is exactly 10. And if the value is greater than 10, then we will print in our computer screen that you have entered greater than 10 okay so this is what we will be doing so this is the program that we have written so before discussing this program let's see the output whether it is working as expected or not so let's let's build it so build is completed so now run it so it is asking me to you know enter a number so let's give a number which is less than 10 so let me give 4 so if you see over here it says that you have entered less than 10 which is correct 4 is less than 10 so you know this particular printf statement get executed in this case okay so if we run your program again and this time you will give exactly 10 so now you see this particular statement got printed your value is exactly 10 which is this one okay and we'll run this program again. Now this time we'll give some uh, greater than value than 10, which may be something 25. Okay, so you see over here, it says that you have entered greater than 10. So as you can see, our program is working as expected. Now let's see, you know, what is happening, how the control flow is actually going from one place to another place. As you can see here, the after we you know get the number from the user, so line number nine is the part where we are using the scanf function to get the number from the user. You know it basically checks this particular condition checks whether the number is less than ten. So first time we entered four, so that is why you know our control will come over here into this printf statement, and after that of course it will not go inside this else statement, and then it will come outside of the else which is here and then it will find that this particular statement return 0 that's the end of the program so it's pretty simple now when you entered exactly 10 what happens at the time so this condition you know it tested and it becomes false right this is false now because 10 is less than 10 is false so of course it will not go inside this f it will come into the else block so inside the else block it will come and it will see that okay there is one more condition that if number num is equal to 10 which is true in this case because we have entered exactly 10 so then you know it will go inside this if block and it will print this value your value is exactly 10 and from here it will come out over here which is the end of else this else okay end of this else okay and then you know it will come out of the else block and in the program so that is how you know the flow is actually uh, going from one if else to another if else that is why this is called the nested if else and after that you know when you when you entered more than 10 that is 25 so what happens over here is this becomes false so your control come over here and this if condition is tested so this is also false now correct so so what happens you know it will come into the else block so in else you know you print you have entered greater than 10 okay and then it comes out of the this else block and then you know it, it comes into this particular place where it finds that a statement return 0 to end the program so so that is why you know for different different values of 10 the logic the control of the, of the compiler compilation and the execution of your program goes from one place to another place so that is where the you know beauty of this controlled statement that you can control the flow of your program 
you know uh, from one place to another place using this if else statement and also you can use this if else as a nested part so notice one thing that you know this particular if has only one statement that is why the curly brace is not required here and as well as you know this particular printf is part of your else block so since this is only one statement so that is why you know you don't have to write the curly brace you can write you may not write so it's up to you but if if there would have been you know more than one statement that you want to put inside a if block or else block then the curly brace is mandatory you have to write those things otherwise your program will be not be working properly thanks for watching this video